But are we prepared for the responsibility that come with that level up? Are we, are we prepared for the responsibility that's going to come with that next step, with that next level? So ask yourself this too. Am I ready to handle the additional obligations? Am I ready to handle that? Okay, Toya, I'm praying for marriage. I want to be married. I want a kingdom man. <laughs> I want a kingdom wife. Am I prepared? That's what you got to coach yourself. You got to ask yourself, am I prepared to handle the new obligations that come with being a kingdom wife? Okay. Do you know what all going to be required of you day to day? on Yes, baby. I could tell you a thing or two. <laughs> it ain't glitz and glam every day. Okay. It's going to be compromised. It's going to be maintenance look completely different than the wedding. Mm. Come on now. You walk down the aisle, you come out, your daddy walking you down the aisle, y'all come out, everybody ooing and eyeing, everybody standing up on their feet, folks crying and stuff because you so beautiful. The groom up there, he crying too. <laughs> everybody crying. You want the, you look, you, you want the man, everybody want the man, to, he don't cry for me. When I come down the aisle, I'm going to turn around and we're going to try this again. He got to cry for me. So, that's the whole glitz and glam side of it. You see what I'm saying? But after that honeymoon and y'all get by home and you wake up the next day, you wake up the next morning and you used to sleeping in till two o'clock. You used to, well, if I ain't hungry, I don't cook. <laughs> I just eat me a bowl of cereal and I'm good. Or I just, you see what I'm saying? So wanting marriage, desiring a blessing, desiring another level is one thing. And the glitz and glam, anybody can handle that. But are you prepared for the responsibility? Are you, have you, have you prepared yourself for the mantle of a wife? Have you prepared yourself for the mantle of a husband? Do you know how much you're going to be on them knees? Do you know how much you're going to be praying for your spouse? Do you know how much conflict resolution you're going to have to work through? Oh, because see, when you were single, it, it was different because you were single. Like, oh, well, if we, it, this, this don't go my way. This ain't, I don't get the outcome I want. I don't have to put up with this. I'm finna go. <laughs> Come on, ladies. Y'all know how we be doing. I ain't got to put up with this. I'm finna go. Uh-uh, because see, I used to do it like this, and I used to do it like that. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But see, when you become uh, one with somebody, y'all merged together in that household. It now it's about the benefit of that household as a whole. Isn't a lot of the things that you personally did that worked for you. Maybe those things are not going to work for the household as a whole for the family as a unit. So are you ready for that? These are the questions that you sit and ask yourself. And it might not be marriage. It might be, it might be business. It might be another level in business. You might want more clients. Are you ready to handle an extra 20 clients right now? Are you ready to, are you prepared for the obligations that come with serving these people? Hey Queens, come on in, come on in baby. So listen, are you ready to heal, to grow, to detox your soul, to heal from past pain and to level up and become the woman that God has created you to be? If so, baby, then I have something for you. The Healing and Self-Love Course for the Divine Woman at LaToya Okia Academy. This course is designed to help you get the knowledge, get the tools, the tips, and the strategies that you need to level up and to get your healing and to become the powerful woman of God that you were created to be. I want to tell you, baby, that there is a new life that is waiting for you. I broke free from my old habits and my old past and I walked in my power and I want to help you do the same thing. Okay. I'm telling you, baby, no matter how dark it is in your life right now, there is another level that is available for you, but you have to get the knowledge. You have to get the tools. That was key for me. You have to get the knowledge in order to be able to level up and heal and grow and develop. So if that's you, click the link below in the description and join me in the healing and self love for the divine woman course. It is online. It is self paced. So you have the convenience to work through it at your own pace. And you have me as your coach there for any information, for any questions that you may have as you're going through the course. Okay. So click the link below baby and sign up. Let's get back to the message. 
Are you able to answer all the emails that these people going to be sending? Are you able to, to have customer service for them? Are you able to serve them on a level to where everybody feel like they heard, everybody feel like they seen? So want it is one thing, but are you ready? Are you prepared to handle the obligations of this next level? Cause it gonna come with something. This something Coach Tyson say all the time. We talk about a lot. It come with something. I want y'all to put that in the comments. It come with something. It's another side to it. It come with something. You can't have good without bad. <laughs> and you can't have bad without good. Because the, the what makes it bad is the other side of it that is something good. And what makes it good, what defines it as good, good is significant because there is another side that's also bad. So you can't have one without the other. This is law. You got a good side, you got a bad side. So you can't just prepare yourself for the good side. You got to be prepared for the bad that come with it too. And it's really not bad. Like I was saying in the video, when you go with God, God say my yoke is easy. My burden is light. So even what the world would classify as being bad with God is not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. Well, people in the world would be saying, child, I just couldn't do that. I just couldn't put up with that. I couldn't just, it, you, you smiling cause you like, oh, me and my husband are good. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? If you told somebody a lot of the things that didn't happen, or they child, uh, uh, y'all crazy. I couldn't do this. I couldn't do that. No, you can't do it because you're in the world. And in the world, that same you could take the same problem that somebody having in the kingdom and give it to somebody in the world, and it'll kill them. It'll take them out. The responsibility will too will be too heavy. The burden will be too heavy. But see, when you in God, when you got the Holy Spirit rocking with you, baby, when you riding with God, he eases a lot of that pressure. He eases a lot of that tension. OK, so that's step one. You got to coach yourself. Self-reflection. Think about what it is that you want and ask yourself the tough questions. Am I ready for the new responsibilities that are going to come with this blessing? OK, step two is research research now this the part that come in that i was saying you can't just speculate with the information you can't just guess you can't just fill in the blank you got to actually go do your research now like i was talking about in the video we the google generation so we know how to google some stuff now we know how to look up some stuff on youtube youtube university we know when we really want to know something we really want to find something out we can utilize social media and utilize google and it used to be where you had to go miles down the road, find a library, and then go find the encyclopedia section. <laughs> what my encyclopedia folks said, baby. Y'all remember the encyclopedia? <laughs> oh, encyclopedia. What about, I was telling my children the other day, um, y'all remember AOL, when we used to have to dial up on the internet, and you had to, you, it, it was one, if you were blessed, if you had one big computer in the house, that everybody used okay we didn't have no cell phone we didn't have no social media we had no youtube one big computer in the kitchen or somewhere in the living room and when you own the internet it shut everything down the phone busy they like get off the computer i'm trying to use the phone then you used to have to dial in like you was on the phone and wait for the thing to connect with aol but we in the information age now baby Yes, the good old days. That's right, Shay. We're in the information age now, and information is at your fingertips. So you can literally just, like a, a, a one-year-old, a two-year-old, got information at their fingertips. They can do-do-do-do-do-do, can't even read. But they can do-do-do-do, they find whatever they're looking for on social media, find whatever they're looking for on YouTube. So we got to utilize that to our advantage to grow in our self-development in the kingdom of God. So go do research utilize available resources the number one source is god so if you lack wisdom if you don't know something and you trying to figure it out first place you gonna automatically go is god